So the first tip is to know that there's an infinite amount of ways to go about ruling your fitness and building muscle. And the best way to think about this tip is to think of yourself as an architect building a house. Like any architect knows that before they start building the actual house, a foundation needs to be set and made. So, so your foundation is going to be training hard, pushing yourself, going past your limits, you know, even when you want to stop. Um, the second part of that foundation is going to be getting good quality foods in you that's going, to, that's going to offer you good quality carbs, proteins and fats, and getting adequate sleep. Now, once you have that foundation set, how you go about building that actual health is up to you. You can go to the gym by yourself, lift weights by yourself, go with a friend, you can do small, medium or large, you know, personal training classes, go with a personal trainer. You can use this channel as a tool to build muscle and rule your fitness. You can do calisthenics, it's all up to you. And as far as good quality foods, there's an infinite amount of good quality foods out there that you can choose from. Again, it's all up to you to choose the best food that you like, that you wanna eat, but that are also still gonna give you the good quality nutrients, macronutrients that's going to, you know, fuel those workouts so you can rule your fitness and build those muscles or move scales. It's not really funny, is it? <laughs> Tip number two is to know that what you do outside the gym plays a much bigger role than what you do inside the gym. Now think about it. There's 24 hours in a day. You're in the gym for no more than two hours of those 24 hours. So that's about 8.3% of your whole entire day if you actually do spend two hours in the gym. Now, those other 22 plus hours, what are you doing? Are you doing the right things? Are you adhering to the other parts um, of those, you know, of that foundation? If not, then it's not gonna build wealthy because nowhere in life is doing the right thing 8% of the time is gonna get you to where you wanna be. Tip number three is to not stay at the gym for hours on end. It's better to have a short and intense workout where you're challenging yourself than to have a long dragged out workout where you're barely moving. And also don't, don't have the idea where you're gonna have a long and intense workout because there is the law of diminishing returns where to the, you get to the point where you're not benefiting yourself by good doing more, you're just breaking yourself down, just to break yourself down basically. So don't, don't do that either. Tip number four is to realize that building muscle and ruling your fitness is a boring process. Just like anything that you wanna achieve in life, you gotta adhere to the basics and foundations day in and day out, every single day, more times, a lot more times than not because that's the only way you're gonna get to where you wanna be. A lot of times we show on social media, this platform, especially how glorious you know, fitness is, and it's great. But the thing is though, the behind the scenes, when you get out of, out of this, you know, video and camera, and you start actually doing this thing, it, it's gonna be a struggle, it's gonna be a pain. And I hope that you, that you use this channel as a tool to, you know, help you get through this. But you realize though, it's painstaking, it's hard, it's difficult, but it's well worth it though. And if you got any kind of value out of this video, out of these tips, out of me talking to you this today, this second, while you're watching it, whenever you're watching it, please subscribe, turn on that bell and leave a comment down below because here on this channel, we try to empower people at home and nutrition and at the gym with the goal of the muscles. So if you like that, subscribe. And always remember to make mirrors your canvas, waste your paintbrush, sweat your paint, and may your drawing always be beautifully unfinished.